Hey, good morning. Uh, it's Gerard here. Today is a good day. I am off. I'm off work today. And um, my boss called me or text messaged me this, this morning and uh, was like, call me when you get up. I don't know what that was all about, but I'm off. You dig? I'm off. So I thought I would talk about why I grew my locks. For me, it didn't start off as a you know as a as a big spiritual thing. It didn't start off as you know oh man I want to look so different. But I felt like I wanted to do something to my hair that uh, fit my personality and fit my lifestyle. And uh, I was tired of getting haircuts. Going to get edge ups and things like that every 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 other week, and I, w I wasn't keeping up with them, and I started looking raggedy, and and you know, even though people say that uh, you know, oh you look so much better with short hair, you be the judge. All right, I I don't know, but anyway, I started you know I started with, with a little twist, and you know, um, I had them done for me the first time. Um, so after that, I started, you know, retwisting them myself, but to me, it's like a, I mean, this sounds, this may sound corny, but it's like a way of life, like, it's like the way I wear my hair, it's, it's not, like, I don't, I don't necessarily, um, you know, have to put on a, a you know, a do-rag every, every day, you know, sometimes if I, if I want to look fresh, you know, I might, you know, I might wear a wave cap to bed if it stays on, um, but it's just cool to, you know, wake up, I might run my fingers through my hair, you know, get up and go, instead of having to brush, you know, constantly, constantly. Now, so I didn't grow locks because I'm lazy, but it just seemed to fit my personality. Like, when I, when I look at them, like, they don't look like, you know, pe a lot of times people will say, well, you need to get your hair retwisted because they look rough. But to me, it's like, man, this is, this is, this is me, this is, this is who I am, I'm fuzzy, you know, <laughs> I'm fuzzy. But... Uh, I'm not really fuzzy, but you know what I'm saying, like, so my locks are fuzzy, and, um, but I started to think about, you know, just, like, the strength of a man, and, and just what it looks like, I'm not saying that, you know, you men with, with taper fade is a weak, but it's just, you know, when I see men walking around, you know, with, with, with long locks, you know, it, to me, it just exudes, you know, this, this strength and this confidence, you know, uh, in, in a black man, oh, white man, I've, I've seen, I've seen some, some, uh, some some white men with some some pretty uh, bomb locks, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it is something, you know, something about the presence, you know, of a man and a woman. You know, I see them with, you know, with long locks. They just look regal, you know. And um, you know, I've heard I've heard stories, and you know, I've, I've I, I you know of um, people saying that you know Jesus had had uh, had locks. To me. Um, I, I've never seen him before, uh, not personally, but it just feels like, you know, like something spiritual, like, you know, you know, just, just having these, these appendages, <laughs> these, you know, 206 hands, you know, that seem like they, they reach, they, they're like, I feel like they're reaching down, you know, uh, my back, trying to get, trying to get longer, trying to grow, and I feel like, in a way, I feel like they're my strength, um, I feel like nobody, has gone through what I've gone through in my life. We all have our own individual stories, and um, they just feel good. They f they feel good. They feel like they belong on my head, you know. Um, I don't know a lot about you know the Nazarites and and um, and uh, things of that nature, but I do I do feel uh, like you know they they feel good on me, and so I'm just rambling really, but. I didn't. I didn't grow them because I wanted to look cool. I didn't grow them because you know I wanted to, you know, shake my dreads and all all those songs that you hear on on the radio and stuff. Like, that's not me. Like usually when I see people, they be like, "Oh, you got some nice dreads," you know. And I'm not even gonna get into the whole dread versus lock words stuff like that because to me, um, I know what I, what I have on my head. You know, I call them locks. Um, Whenever I encounter a person who doesn't is not familiar with the term locks, who just knows the word dreads, they're like, "How long were you grow? How long are you growing your dreads?" And I'll just be like, "Uh, <laughs> um, almost two years." But so it's not a big. It wasn't like an epiphany 
you know, thou shall grow dreads, thou shall grow your life. It wasn't like that at all. It was like a decision that I made to wear my hair a certain way and to feel good about it. And believe me, I think to get to this length, if you know like I know, we have gone through stages. You know, the stages where they just kind of, they, they go anywhere they want to go. Stages where, they, where they're kind of awkward, they don't look long enough, where they, they're not, you know, they don't, they're not cool enough to stick up, stick straight up, you know. And it, we go through a lot of awkward phases. So, it's like, you know, I, if it was all about looking cool, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it because I know what they look like whenever you're going through those stages. Um, I see so many like, young, young men, like, that are twisting, that are starting to twist their hair, starting to form locks. You know, they'll put a headband, they'll put a headband on. Their hair is like that long, but they want to look cool. Like, see, to me, to me, yeah, it's kind of like you know, let me just start and 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 see where it takes me. I, it's kind of cool to know that I've been doing this for almost two years, and um, I, I I like them. I think that um, they are very much a part of me, just like my fingers. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where to go with that one, but <sighs> I've run out of things to say. I will say that a, a lot of the times when someone sees me, sees my hair, you know, they always want to touch it. Oh, can I touch your locks? Can I? To me, it's almost like saying, you know, can I hold your hand? Because... I don't, I, this is not like a wig, it, you know, it's not like, you know, oh my gosh, like, it feels like it's a part of me, I don't, you know, it's just, it's like I wash my hands, I wash my hair, you know, like, and I don't want a complete stranger, you know, <laughs> uh, holding my hands, so, but usually I, I, I let, I, I'll let someone touch my hair, uh, i never forget, I was in, um, I was in uh, a library studying for a test, and this girl comes up to me, she was like, Oh my gosh, can I, can I touch your dreads? And so I was like, but before I could say yes, she had already put her hand in my head. And I was like, hmm. She said, oh my gosh, they're, they're so soft, they're not hard. And then she, she put her head down to my head and she smelled my life. She goes, and they don't even stink. They sm smell like, like gummy worms. Well, <laughs> some people are, are more fascinated with with your hair than you are. You know, you see it as an everyday thing. You wake up in the morning, you know, you, you, you get up and go. And people find it phenomenal to see hair like, you know, like hollers. So, uh, anyway, I'm sure I'll have more interesting videos uh, posted pretty soon. So, stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, that really means subscribe. And I will talk to you later.